How to patent an invention. I am Rolf Klesen, partner with Freischirm and Partner, and in this video I explain how to patent an invention. I show you exactly what I think is the best practice to protect your invention with a patent. When you think you have made an invention, first maybe do a very good search on Google or other websites, for example eBay I find very useful, uh, to find out whether other people have come up with the same idea before you. Once you have found out that you have made maybe an invention that is really new, then do not talk to other people except maybe your patent attorney, because if you talk to other people this is considered prior art and this would be so-called novelty destroying for a patent because a patent needs to be new when filed and if you talk to someone else without a secrecy agreement then it's not considered novel anymore. The US patent law and not many other laws have an exception to this rule. If you personally are talking about a certain invention, then this is harmless or not novelty destroying if this happens 12 months prior to filing the patent application. But there is a danger. If other people talk about your idea, then this might be novelty destroying. So better not talk to other people before you have filed a patent application. And this rule doesn't apply to other countries, or at least to not to most other countries. So for example, if you file a patent application in the US and then you want to later file a patent application in Europe and you claim the priority of the US patent application, then whatever you have said before the filing date will be considered novelty destroying with regard to your European patent application. So do not talk about your invention to other people before filing a patent application. When drafting a patent application, I strongly suggest that you enlist the help of a patent attorney. First of all, the patent attorney is doing nothing but drafting and filing patent applications. So patent attorneys have a lot of experience in, for example, searching for prior art that is recommended. Uh, addition, in addition to your Google search, a patent attorney should first search the prior art and search databases if your invention is really new. Then the patent attorney really has a lot of experience in drafting the patent application. And in my personal view, there is a good recipe to get a really strong patent application. First, do a really good search for prior art, also via your patent attorney or other companies that offer patent searches. And then once you have identified maybe five to ten really close documents, so documents that disclose a very similar invention, not exactly your invention, but very similar inventions, then you identify maybe 10 to 20 differences for each of these documents. So let's say you have an invention A and there is a document disclosing an invention B that is very similar. Try to find at least 10 or more differences that make your invention different from invention B. And then for each difference, try to come up with what the advantage would be connected with this difference. So for example, if you have invented a car with four wheels in the rear view mirror, let's say a rear view mirror was not known before and cars with four wheels were known. So invention B is a car with four wheels and you have a car with four, wheel four wheels in the rear view mirror then the difference is the rear view mirror and the advantage is that you have less accidents because you can see more of the traffic. Try to do that for each of the documents and identify as many differences as you can for each of the documents. Then or before that you explain your idea or your invention in as much detail as you can to the patent attorney. And once the patent attorney has your detailed description together with all the differences to the prior art documents and the advantages connected with, it, with these differences, then the patent attorney has a really good starting point to draft a very strong, good patent application. Once your patent attorney has filed the patent application for you, the examiner will start a search with his own search strategy, of course, and the examiner often comes up with documents that fall within your broadest claim one 
And now your differences to the prior art come into play because now most likely one of these differences will allow you to differentiate yourself or your invention from the references that the examiner found. And this discussion with the examiner often then leads to a granted patent. I hope I was able to show you how to patent an invention. If you are new to my channel and want to know more about patents, trademarks and designs, please subscribe to my channel. If you liked the video, hit like. I am answering comments and questions below this video and most importantly, protect your intellectual property and go make it count.